the year 2021 poses a huge opportunity to increase the number of Latinas in elected office. There will be citywide elections, which include for mayor, for borough president, and also at the city council level, there will be at least 34 open seats from outgoing council members who cannot seek re-election. Just days after we interviewed Melissa Marvi Verito, she also announced she's running, this time to replace Congressman Jose Serrano in the South Bronx. For Latinas, this is Marlene Peralta. There are about two and a half million Salvadorans in the United States. In New York City, they are a minority among Latinos, being the seventh largest Latino group in the city. The majority of New York State, however, live on Long Island. We went to the Center for Latin American, Caribbean, and Latino Studies at CUNY to ask an expert about why there is not enough information about Salvadorans in New York. Latinas are reflecting the communities they represent and also holding important leadership roles within the New York City Council. De La Rosa is the chair of the Civil Service and Labor Committee. Amanda Farias chairs the Economic Development Committee. With more Latinas and Latinos at the city council level, it puts us a step closer to getting Latinos elected at a citywide level. Maybe we'll get a Latina mayor in the near future. For Latinas, I am Marlene Peralta.